So I was on that stuff for years. And it got so bad, I have hemorrhoids, fissures, which are very painful. And, um, you know, I'd have to lie down for an hour after a bowel movement just to recover. Yes, my name is Tom Avery. I'm a, I live in Naples, Florida. I'm 70 years old. I've been a tennis professional for over 40 years. It's Tom here. Today's lesson is on the top spin kick serve. And your wife, Joanne? Yes, my name is Joanne Avery, and I have been helping Tom for the past um, 20, five years with the business, uh, the tennis, and also online, that is, and also helping with the growing. We've got a lot of fruit trees and herbs and lettuces, and so that takes a lot of effort. And she went, and, she went along with me when I went vegan, which was really nice, so I had her support, and she really liked it because she's very into natural anyway. So Tom, um, I would really like to hear your health story because it's really interesting. Um, can you tell me like how you ate when you grew up and what your health was like? Okay, it was, well, I, ha I had a nice upbringing, you know. Um, there, there were problems like any family, but um, I really loved my grandmother for sure. And, and she was, you know, a food type person. You know, she loved to feed us, you know. <laughs> so, unfortunately, back then, nobody knew anything about how to eat right. And we all thought, oh, this is, the, this is really great. This is living, you know. We're having sausage and eggs for breakfast. We're having hamburgers and french fries for lunch, pizza for dinner, pot roast for dinner, T-bone steaks, you know, porterhouse steaks. This was, you know, like... This was the great life. This was the good life. And, and we enjoyed it to a certain extent, but you are going to hit a wall eventually. You know, some people can go a long time and they don't hit that wall and some, you know, but some will hit it earlier. But anyway, I hit a wall. I was, um, I was totally constipated. I mean, I could not have a, it was so difficult to have a bowel movement. So I used to take this stuff back at the time, it was called herbal fiber blend. And if I didn't have that stuff, I mean, I, I couldn't have a bowel movement. So I was on that stuff for years and it got so bad. I had hemorrhoids, fissures, which are very painful. And, um, you know, I'd have to lie down for an hour after a bowel movement just to recover. So, and I went to a doctor who told me I could eat all the meat I wanted because I was a certain blood type, you know, and that just wasted my time even more and got me sicker. And uh, so eventually, you know, it was... You know, I was always interested in, in health, healthy, you know, being healthy. And um, we'd meet people. And I remember one day, Joanne and I met this young guy at, at a place called Wild Oats. Whole Foods actually bought them out. But they, they were like a natural food place. And this young guy was there eating a salad with pineapple in his salad. So I said, I said, wow, that looks good. I said, so what do, you, what do you got in there? He goes, it's just, you know, vegetables and some pineapple. I said, no, no dressing or anything? He said, no. He says, it tastes good. And I, he says, he, says, I'm, he, said I, he said he was raw vegan, and he mentioned Doug Graham's name. He said, yeah, I follow 801010. You, you never heard of that? I said, no. This was like 14, 15, 15 years ago or something. I don't know. It was quite a while ago. I don't know when Doug came out with that book, but it must have been just out. And um, so we kind of dismissed it, you know. We said, you know, all right, it sounds good, but I don't think I could do that, you know. And um, can I just about, ask about, you? Um, you're you were t playing tennis at the time, right? Oh yeah, yeah. How, been, yeah. How was your health 
or in regards to that? Like, did you get injuries or were you? Yes, yes. I, I had every injury you can imagine. I mean, seriously. I mean, every joint in my body has been injured at one time or another from ankle, knee, hip, low back, shoulders, elbows, you know, everything. And um, I had frozen shoulder at one time so bad, I could not toss the ball. I couldn't toss the ball to hit a serve. I had tennis elbows so bad, I couldn't hit a backhand. I had to only hit forehands. And um, so I realized, you know, at 58 years old, if I'm going to continue doing this, I've got, I've got to make a change. I've got to do something. So I don't know how I came across 801010 again about a year or two after we met that young guy who was eating the salad with the pineapple. And Doug Graham's name came up again. So I bought the book. I read the book in like two days, one, one or two days, because that was so interesting. And I just said, that's it. I got to try this. I've got to try it. I tried it for one week. And I said, this is it. I'll never go back. One week or two weeks. I said, I just feel so good, you know? And um, I never, we never looked back and we were totally raw for four, four and a half years. Wow. Following 801010 to the letter. I mean, perfect. And then the reason I think we went off a little bit was we were going through a very stressful time period. Joanne's mother died. She was 86. And then both of my parents died within 19 days of each other. And the stress of all that and going to funerals and going, you know, getting on planes and going places, and talking to your siblings and going to funerals. And, you know, I don't know, we just needed some comfort or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and, and, you know, a sweet potato or, you know, some beans and rice or, or I don't even like rice that much, but quinoa I like better. But, um, you know, we started to incorporate some of that, which kind of calmed us down a little and made us feel a little more relaxed. And um, so, how well, raw? How raw are you today? Are you hundred percent or ninety percent? That's a good question. We are, we are pretty much ninety-five to ninety-nine percent, and some days a hundred percent raw, where we just eat raw all day. And you know, we have friends that, you know, when we socialize with them sometimes we throw in the sweet potato or the quinoa and beans or whatever you know but you know <laughs> if we could i would you know just rather do the, the big salad every night and maybe you know we throw everything in there maybe even through a few bananas and raisins and and a nice little dressing and who's not who cannot be satisfied with that i mean you know <laughs> I mean, what so, more do you need, you know? Uh -huh. so, so after you changed your diet, you said you felt really good. What happened to your health issues, like your tennis problems and your everything. hemorrhoids and everything? Well, the bowel movements improved like instantly almost. I mean, now it's like, you know, three times a day, no problem. And I'm not taking any fiber or anything. And, um, you know, the frozen shoulder, totally gone. I, I feel looser now, more flexible at 70 than I did really when I was like 58, you know. I, and I'm not a big uh, person that stretch, stretches a lot. I mean, I stretch. I try and do a little bit every day, but it's not, you know, like over the top. I like, um, you know, different guys like Aaron Mattis. You ever heard of Aaron Mattis? No. Well, he's a stretch expert. He's very good. And um, I follow some of his stuff. But I just feel, you know, I can still play tennis with guys that are 25, 30 years old. So, and, so how much do you exercise? Like, do you teach? Do you work out? How much that's a good you... question. Because it's, it's all, it's, it's how much time, you know, like if, if I have a busy day of lessons, let's say. Let's say I have four hours of lessons a day. And, um, and I'm hitting with some pretty good players. 
that might be all the exercise I need for that day with maybe a little stretching. But let's say I have a day where I, I don't have any lessons. Then I may go out for a four mile run or do some body weight exercises, you know, and I just do chin ups, push ups, squats, toe raises, you know, basics, basic stuff. But I'll do three, three sets to five sets so I can maintain my strength. And um, so, uh, but every day, I think every day, like Doug says, you got to get out and play. You know, you got to get out and play for an hour. If you can play for an hour, do something physical, whether, and it could be gardening, you know, because Joanne and I, we, we love our fruit trees here. And we go out and that's, a, that's, that can be some strenuous work, working in the garden. We have 30 fruit trees in the yard right now. And we plan on putting in like probably at least 30, maybe even 40 more. So, you know, we've got 2.27 acres. So that's, um, that's a, a lot, lot of work. <laughs> a lot to take care of. Yeah. 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 So do you ever do competitions, tennis or yeah. any other type yeah. of competitions? What have you done? Yeah. Well, still do. Um, sometimes there's, uh, they call them USTA super senior tournaments. They have these tournaments with age brackets, you know, like well, starting at like age 25, then 30, 35, five-year increments. So I, now I can play in the 70 and over. So I play in those. And um, I also like to do sprint triathlons when I can. And I've done those. I really like them. They're, they're not super long. You know, it's like a 3.1-mile run, a 9.2-mile bike, and a quarter-mile swim. And uh, I, I enjoy those. And, uh, yeah. How are you com um, doing compared to people on your, your age on a standard well, line? Well, I mean, I never really trained for triathlons. And the second one that I went in, I came in third in, in my age group because there's guys that's all they do is train for triathlons. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a tennis player, but I can still, you know, run halfway decent and bike and swim you know so i was happy with that i got third that's yeah. really really impressive yeah. for yeah. sure without training that much yeah and, um and like with you joanne why did you start this diet well you know the difference in tom made me want to continue the same way and every time I, I look back to um, eating cooked, I could feel the difference. So the, I figured the, the raw food is, gives you so much more energy and um, it allows you to get more done. My, my son, we tried to get him interested in, in the raw food diet, right? And I interviewed him one time and he said, he says, yeah, when you're really raw, you feel great, but then when you eat something bad, it's like you suffer. He says, so you go in and out of suffering <laughs> every time you eat yeah. something, you know. And that's what I discovered when I, you know, if I didn't stick to uh, staying raw at the beginning, I realized that I'm just, you know, working against myself by going off that 80-10-10. Okay, so it's easy for you to stay raw? It's much easier for me because um, taste buds have changed and I really love the flavor of foods. They come out better when they're, when they're raw. Great. Yeah. Um, Tom, did you have any other benefits from this diet? Uh, something about well, the mind? Yeah, therapy? just... Yes, clarity, for sure. I was able to concentrate better because I think I must have had ADD as a kid. I mean, I, I was not a good student in school. I was always just looking out the window. I just wanted to go outside and play. And um, so that's helped. I've been able to concentrate more. And, um, and your mood swings. The mood swings are better. I used to get kind of 
enraged, I guess you could call it. I don't know, easily, you know. And um, so I'm much calmer. Yeah. yeah. That's so amazing. For sure. Yeah. Do you have any like final good advice for somebody who wants to either be super active as a senior or who just wants to heal constipation and sports injuries and those kind of things? Well, you know, the, the, the bottom line, Louise, is they, they have to want it themselves. And hopefully, you know, we, people like you and me, we can, and Joanne, we can motivate them to at least give it a try. Just try it. And that's what I tell people. I say, what's, what's two weeks out of your life or, or a month? You say, just try it for a month. Be strict for one month and see what happens, you know? And um, because people, I think they've been so brainwashed, they just, they find it so hard to believe that, you mean, yeah, just changing my diet and I can feel a lot better. I can heal all these problems. You know, they, they don't believe it. And uh, you've got to just try and motivate them to the point where they're going to try it, you know. And um, I say start out easy, you know, whatever you can do. You know what one way might be a good way, I was just thinking. You know, I really believe, I believe in creation, okay. I believe that we were created. And I believe that on the tip of our tongue is the sweet taste bud. God put that there for a reason, because that's the food we like, sweet tasting food. And people that say they don't like sweets, I don't believe them. <laughs> I don't believe it, because you do like sweets. Everybody does. Everybody likes sweets. So tell them to just eat fruit and make, you know, just, just eat fruit. Who doesn't like that? But what happens is people, they don't feel satiated enough. They don't get that numb feeling. So you got to warn them, you're not going to feel numb, but you may feel like taking a walk or you may feel like jogging. <laughs> you know? Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah sharing your story. I wonder where can people find you if they want to get inspired by you well we have a website called veganlogic.org and we have a um, youtube channel vegan logic and uh, i'll send you the links and i'll put them below <laughs> we, we'd love to have more people on the channel that we could uh, communicate with yeah i just hope you get a massive new subscribers who wants to follow your <laughs> message as well. <laughs> and then I just wish you a beautiful day and all the best yeah. with your garden as well. <laughs> oh, yes, thank, thank you, you. Bye. so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Louise. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Hvis du gerne vil lære præcis hvad du skal spise, så kan du downloade min gratis kom i gang guide. Her får du kostlister og et par lette opskrifter samt en lille introduktion til kosten og livsstilen. Du er også velkommen til at se mit gratis webinar, Sådan spiser du dig rask. Her underviser jeg i, hvordan jeg selv spiser mig rask, hvordan kroppen helbreder naturligt, hvad man skal spise, og hvorfor der ikke er nogen, der kender til det her. Og hvis du allerede nu ved, at du for alvor bare vil i gang med kosten, så er det mit helt store 4 ugers online videokursus, Frokost for begyndere, som du skal have fat i. Her tager jeg dig nemlig i hånden uge for uge, så det hele bliver super nemt og overskueligt. Og bedst af alt, så kan du se det hele hjemme i din egen stue. Og her til sidst, så husk at abonnere og like, samt følg mig på de sociale medier, hvis du gerne vil have endnu flere gode tips og videoer fra mig. Kan du have en rigtig skøn og dejlig dag.